Here in front of me is a ThinkPad T60 from the year 2006. I picked it up for a dollar and five cents. Yes, you heard me right, a dollar and five cents. I picked this up with 10 other ThinkPad T60s and nine Dells for a total of $21 for all of them. So I got um, all of them for a dollar and five cents each. So this ThinkPad originally came with a, a Core Duo, not a Core 2 Duo, a Core Duo. And eventually I upgraded it to a Core 2 Duo, T5500. And I upgraded the RAM to three gigabytes. Now, this machine supports up to four gigabytes of RAM, but there's like a chipset limitation where it only supports up, it only uses up to three gigabytes. So I decided to put a two gigabyte stick and a one gigabyte stick so I don't have to just waste a stick. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna do some tests on it. We're gonna put a hard drive in it because it currently does not have one. So yeah, let's get on with it. So first, let's talk about the keyboard on this. This is, in my personal opinion, the best keyboard that Lenovo has ever manufactured on a laptop. I've dealt with several ThinkPads in the past, such as a T430, T410s, W541s, and even a T580, which is my personal laptop right now. Um, this is honestly probably better than that because it, it just feels so nice to type on. Like it, it just feels really nice to type on. And there's not really much to say about the keyboard, so we also have the legendary ThinkLight in the top. So, the light, this light that comes down in the keyboard, so you can see in the dark. But, I mean, honestly, this is probably a, my favorite keyboard on a laptop. It feels really good to type on, you can get a lot of work done. Let's look at the ports on this thing. Okay, let's take a look at the ports on this thing. Let's start from the front and work our way to the left. So, we have the, um, the latch to unlock the laptop. Move to the left a little bit. We have our Wi-Fi switch to connect the internet infrared on the left side we have two PCM CIA slots a USB port a headphone and microphone jack Ethernet a modem which will definitely come in ha handy these days VGA port and the on the back of it we just have the power jack that's it that's the power jack and the right side we have two more USB ports and a CD ROM drive and that's really it for ports so and the back we have our docking, docking, if you want to put on a docking station, and we have our battery, which holds, which, which holds a good charge actually still. All right, let's, let's put a hard drive in this thing and install Windows XP. Okay, so let's put a hard drive in it. We're going to be putting the 60 gigabyte hard drive from Apple in it. Well, it's made by Fujitsu, but it's been, an, it's been originally in an Apple machine. So let's do that. So all you have to do to take the hard drive out is is with this caddy right here. And now this thing is um it's like a weird way with this thing really like that and take the caddy off like that. And in my case, the caddy's already in here. So you just fl flick that this black thing that's in here. A black tab, and you slide it out, and here's my the caddy. So now we just take these rubber sides off to protect the hard drive. Okay. So. Or to slide it in like that. And now, let's put the screws in. Two more screws. I dropped a screw and I found it though so that's good this is having a hard time screwing in I got it though 
So after that, you put the rubber sides on to protect it if the laptop gets dropped. Slide it in, make sure this black tab's underneath it. And it should just slide in like so. And then the cover should just go on. Just drop the screw in the hole. And there you go, your hard drive is installed. Now, we go get our Windows XP disk and start the installation. So, we installed our 60 gigabyte hard drive. Now it's time to install Windows XP, that glare. All right, so now this battery actually holds a good charge for its age, but this battery is about 13 years old and I don't think it's a good idea to run off battery power. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the charger here. I turn on the laptop, we're gonna hit F12 to go to the boot, the boot menu. We'll put in our Windows XP disk. We'll shut it. And now we can see here's our, C our CD-ROM drive, our hard drive, and I think this is um, Ethernet. So we're gonna boot off the CD drive. And there it goes, it's gonna start booting into the Win Windows XP setup. And yeah, and this will go after, this will go on. So, after that 20 second time lapse, even though it seemed a lot longer that longer for me, um, let's see all the drivers that need to be installed. Oh boy. Look at all those drivers. So, I do not feel like installing all those drivers right now, because if you ever install drivers, it doesn't take that long, but right now, you, you can see... This is probably going to take a good, at least 20 minutes. So, I'm actually filming this. It's actually 2 in the morning right now where I am. So, I think for now we're going to keep it, we're going to shut it down and keep it like this. And we're going to continue on with this video tomorrow morning. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And, oop, I hit log off. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this video tomorrow. So, yeah, here it is. The ThinkPad T60. This video was just a short, short review of it. Not really much of it. Just showing you the ports and the keyboard and XP on it. Not much of it. So next video will probably be an upgrade guide on what, how to upgrade this. And how I'll show you like how to disassemble everything. I could have did it in this video, but yeah, I'm still waiting for the CPU to. I ordered a, um, 10 Core 2 Duo CPUs from China. And you know how that is if you live in the United States. It takes um, a, a couple of weeks, even more than that. I have this IBM PS1 consultant or what consultant or whatever, and my grandma gave it to me. She said she just had it in her basement, sitting there since like 2003 or something. And I found an IBM model keyboard, an IBM model. I well, I didn't find it. I found it. I picked it up for three bucks actually. Yeah, three bucks. So that was that was neat. An IBM Model M keyboard for three bucks. But she gave me the computer for free, so and it does work. So we'll take a look at it in um in a future episode. So yeah. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to see and comment um what specific laptop models you would like to see. Thank you.